In 2015, which is seven years ago, I was a broke college kid looking to make it in esports, believe it or not. I know a lot of you probably think I suck at World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, I see an ad for an esports tournament for a game I've never even played before. And I think, oh yeah, for sure. I can, I can win this whole tournament. Why not? Uh, but it's a team game. And I need four other players in order to fill out this five-man team. And the name of the game was Heroes of the Storm. And the name of the tournament was Heroes of the Dorm. That's right. I, I participated in Heroes of the Dorm 2015. You can look this stuff up. I messaged so many people trying to put a team together. I wanted people who were like serious. They wanted to go all the way, win the whole tournament. And if you won, basically they pay your entire college tuition. Whatever you've already paid, they'll reimburse and they will pay for the remainder. At the time I was a senior, so I was like, yeah, give me, give me a bunch of money for my college tuition. Um, so I was talking to a bunch of people at the University of Illinois. Yep, I'm a boy from Illinois. And um, everyone was saying they weren't interested. Everyone, you know, was was just like, oh, I don't really want to try that hard. You know, nobody wanted to take it seriously. Until I found one other person who was like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take this seriously. I'll go for it. And then there was two of us. And then we found another group of people who had actually assembled a small team, right? Um, other college kids. There was three of them, I believe. Or maybe there was actually like five. I think there was five. We met up with three of them, but they had two other people that were busy and didn't meet us in person. So it's something like eight, eight of us now, right? So too many people. And I remember there was this one kid who like kept raiding in WoW when we were supposed to be practicing. And we were like, get your priorities straight, you know, quit playing WoW play Heroes of the Storm. And so he chose WoW rating and was actually, we, we kicked him off the team. Um, well, he just left. He was okay with it because he was like, yeah, I'd rather just raid on WoW. Um, so we all, you know, committed only Heroes of the Storm for the next few months, you know, forget grades, forget school. It was really cool. We actually had the most diverse team. We had two Koreans, a Mexican, two Chinese, and two Americans, which was me and the other guy. So we had seven people total after the WoW guy dropped off the team. Anyways, fast forward, we're moving up the ranks of this tournament, we're beating people, we're winning. It's pretty crazy because if we reach the final four, right, that means that there's only four teams left, we get an all expenses paid trip to Los Angeles to compete in person in this stadium in Los Angeles and it would, it would be this big event. Uh, and I remember that the game that would secure our spot in the final four, right, uh, it was so close. Um, it was best two out of three. We were, uh, it was one, one, it was tied. This was the, the tie breaking game. And, uh, we were on, you know, this, this type of map and the enemy team got like the hero that was perfect for that map. And I'm like, this is not good. Um, and we ended up losing, right? So we were like, oh, we're eliminated. That's it. It's over. You know, we all got dinner together. We were kind of moping about how we just lost getting ready to go our separate ways. And then all of a sudden we got an email from a Blizzard tournament organizer and said that the team that we just lost against cheated. They cheated. <laughs> so some background, right? Like this tournament is for college students only. And they had some dude who was like, you know, super old, not even in college <laughs> on their team, right? He wasn't able to confirm that he was actually enrolled in a college. He wasn't. So they got disqualified and we moved to the final four. The Mad Banners had some two ones as well as some two O's. They advanced to the Epic Eight actually on a technicality. Now that was kind of an indicator to me, like, okay, we're, we're we're actually not as good as we think. Let's be honest, like, we lost, but we're moving to the final four. Um, so I was like, okay, we're probably the weakest of the teams in the final four. Um, but not only did we get that all expenses paid trip to LA, funded by Blizzard, thanks Blizzard, um, we also won a top of the line gaming PC as part of winning in the final four. Like literally decked out gaming PC. At the time, guys, you have no idea. I was using a gallon of water, put it on top of my computer, um, the, the power supply was like at the top, right? So I just put the, the freaking gallon of water right on top of that to cool it because I, it was just so hot. It was a bleak situation, man. I was in probably a, a dorm room, the size of a closet, not even, not even exaggerating, just trying to make it with, <laughs> with this crappy gaming PC. Uh, but anyways, I, I wanted this better PC and we just freaking won it. And this was like the biggest deal for me. I was like, dude, we're good enough uh, to to actually do something in esports, so 
you know, next thing I knew, we had PC Gamer reaching out to us for interviews. You know, I talked with, um, I forget his name, but the guy who interviewed me at the time is actually now working at Blizzard, which is really cool. You know, congrats to him. Um, it's published somewhere. You guys could probably see what I said. I was, I was doing some trash talking or something. I was like, I was like, they should just quit now. I don't know. It was, it was lame. But, um, you know, next thing I knew, I had a, a flight ticket in my hand that, literally said pro gamer on it and I was just like wow man this this is so so exciting and it was also the first time I ever won an airplane so um this was amazing once we landed I met our blizzard guide who was to pay for everything and anything with his blizzard credit card which don't worry guys I ordered as much food as I possibly could whenever we went out to eat I did my part trying to take as much of Blizzard's money as I could. I forget his name, but this guy was actually really, really cool. Um, our Blizzard guide. Like, he was really good at Hearthstone. I remember he was showing us, like, multiple times Legend. He beat all the hardcore version of the campaigns, all that stuff. So, very impressive Hearthstone player. At our hotel, I remember I met Grubby. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he is basically, like, a Warcraft 3 pro. I think now he does Heroes of the Storm and still Warcraft 3. Chances, chances are you know who I'm talking about. You could look him up, Grubby. Um, later during the tournament, when it was like going on, getting organized, met Day Nine, Artosis, Tasteless, lots of really cool people. Um, so it was, it was just like the event that was like life changing. I actually met uh, Mike Morheim too, <laughs> and Dustin Browder. Yeah, there was a bunch of really cool Blizzard people there. The tournament was really intense. Um, I felt the whole time like I didn't deserve to be there a little bit because like the disqualification, how we won. But we came, we lost, and we had fun, and that's and that's what uh, that's what matters, right? I remember the team that won had a StarCraft II pro gamer who was like streaming at the time, signed up for school just for the tournament. So in my mind, I was like, felt kind of unfair, but whatever. We definitely weren't going to win either way. <laughs> I think also Fan was on his team, who also is now a streamer for Heroes of the Storm. So they had like two really good players on their team. Uh, but th that's the team that won. But anyways, the point of the story, a few months after the tournament ended, our PCs finally arrive. They were delivered to us. And wow, I was so excited. I remember I plugged them in and turned it on and then realized that Blizzard completely scammed us. The specs on these things were garbage, <laughs> like not as advertised to the max. Literally, the case was the coolest part about the PC. Like the, the motherboard was, was not as described. GPU was not as described. RAM was like nothing. Just like it looked like it did in the picture, but the components were terrible. Uh, so we reached out uh, to Blizzard. We sent messages to our Blizzard contact and nothing. Just silence for months. We all pretty much gave up on getting the PCs we were promised. I know I did. I was like, all right, I'll just buy some new components. But one of my teammates was super persistent, kept reaching out. He actually got a response. And it was crazy. He was, the, they literally like Blizzard said, yeah, send in your PC and we'll give you the correct parts. <laughs> you can probably see where this is going. So he was excited. He sent it in with the shipping label they gave him. And, you know, months go by, more months go by. We're all starting to worry for him. And he's not getting any replies to his messages. And yeah, Blizzard stole his PC. They never gave it back. So it's kind of funny because it's definitely a Blizzard thing to do. It's like, don't like the PC we gave you? Fine, we'll take it back. It's like, oh man, that sucks. Now I don't know if Blizzard has a history of not giving tournament winners their winnings. Like I hope those people actually got their college education paid for. But it happened to us and it could happen to you. Uh, and that is the story of when Blizzard stole my friend's PC.